Hey guys, Tampa Tech. I'm going to show you a very easy TV repair and a very common one for DLP TVs. Shout out goes to Shop Jimmy Channel for helping me out with this video. And this is the chip that you're going to need to get at shopjimmy.com. No soldering needed, just plug it in. Sub to Shop Jimmy and Tampa Tech for free tech support and TV service videos. Alright, this is the screen you would have dots randomly all over your TV screen on all. TV inputs, they're actually stuck micro mirrors on the DLP chip, but they'll be randomly scattered throughout your screen as white and black dots. Common TV repairs is a bad DLP chip, a bad capacitors in the power supply, a bad color wheel, clogged or bad fans, and a bad connection on your lamp plug in. Maintenance on the DLP is a lamp, filter, and cleaning out the fan. First, unplug the power cord from the TV then take off the back panel. Pinch and pull the cables off gently. Unscrew the light engine from the TV and slowly and carefully slide out the light engine assembly. You want to take off these three screws right here and just pop off the cover carefully. Do not use uh, do not touch the lens, by the way. I recommend using gloves and use a microfiber cloth to dust off any debris on the lens. You can pinch and pull the cable off the DM, DMD board as well. And also the upper left cable, pinch and pull that off. And when you pull off this ribbon cable, make sure you remember which direction it goes in when you pull before you pull it off. Now, these three screws, you want to take these off to take off the heat shield or the DMD shield. Put all the screws in a cup, plastic cup, and label the cups. So these screws will be called the DMD screws so you don't mix up the screws it's very easy to mix up these screws all right you want to unscrew this board and keep again keep it in a separate plastic cup and label the cup logic board is static sensitive so i recommend using ground strap and rubber gloves and recommend it also obviously to stay off the carpet to prevent static discharge Now, when you pull it off, you want to put it somewhere safe to work on. Unscrew the heat sink from the DLP chip. And put these screws together. And carefully take off the heat sink. There should be another screw right there. Just take that one off as well and carefully flip over the board and you'll see the DLP chip right there and you have access to it with a lock screw do a half turn to unlock the DLP chip and then just slowly pull it off Confirm that the new DLP chip matches with the old DLP chip before installing. The left uh, is the new one. And slowly and line up the pins and press firmly. Make sure it goes in the proper direction when you install this. And then do a half right turn clockwise to lock it the DLP chip back in. Slide the board in. Put these screws in snug. Don't over tighten or else you may crack the circuit board. Put all the screws in so the board is properly um, grounded. And then firmly, snugly put those screws in on the heat sink. And put the remaining screws on the DMD board once again. And the fan. Make sure you clean out that fan though before installing because it's going to help cool down the chip.
go ahead and put in the cables, the remaining cables. This cable, sometimes people put in backwards, so make sure you put it in the correct way. And next, put on that cover over the lens. Put the remaining screws on the lens cover. And make sure all the cables are out of the way when you, before sliding in the light engine. If you don't put this light engine in properly in the TV, the picture is going to look off. And the cables on the bottom left securely put in. Double check all your work. Make sure the oil plugs are put in evenly. Make sure there's no cable sitting under the assembly or touching the fan. It may cause problems in the future. And latch the cable up on the top so it prevents it from falling on the fan. Some DLP TVs actually have safety switches that if you take off the back cover, the TV automatically turns off. So make sure you put the cover on properly. After plugging in the power cord, wait until the green light stops flashing, then press the power on button. And after that, your TV should warm up and boom, you should have a nice clean DLP picture with no dots on the screen. If this worked, subscribe.